need it! As I knew we would. We'll sound all the horns in a bit. There's just one thing we have to do first. We have to bring some of the Cadence here. There is no way around this. We could fire the blast off now and take out a fair number of them, but to truly cleanse this world, we need to bring our enemy here as a catalyst. It's the only way to ensure a chain reaction that would spread to the rest of the Cadence. Bringing them in will use up some of our stored energy, so we will need your protection while we recharge to full strength. Don't hold anything back. Well, goddamn. The final stand. Let's fucking do it. Got a whole new vanguard to pick, but we've already picked them technically. We can actually take anybody we want now. Sage rights, standards, no matter what. So we've got Sherry, Sarah, Petronia for the Zelikar line. So stoked that all three of our starting lines that we had are here with us at the end. Got Celine for the Castillans, and Gregor for our Foxfires. These are our final units. Gregor's got two um, item slots, so he does actually have two Ultra Elixirs that may come in handy. Um, if we lose anybody in this final battle, you'll understand why I've been trying to keep those relics for so long. Uh, it is something that comes into play in this final battle, but I won't spoil it till it happens. We're gonna be fighting Lapses, Twitchers, Wrinklers, and Cradles. We're on Iron Man mode, so if I lose this battle, pretty damn sure i just lose the game again um and then i'll probably have to wait be like a solid you know 10 years before i play it for for a third season but fingers crossed i mean we've done everything perfectly i've never beaten this game on hard i didn't know that before i started i thought i had um so i'm stoked that we even got to this point to begin with but i think if there was any playthrough to do it on this is the one let's get in there We go. Let this be your finest hour. So stealth isn't a big thing in this one. We're just protecting the chalice. It's got an actual counter of HP, and that's terrifying. And we gotta protect it. Gregor comes over here. Gregor can actually see these two and do a flask shot. Nice. It's a start. Our cavers are really going to have to be on the offensive. Just a question of how on the offensive. I have Sherry run up here. Hopefully get a critical. Not quite. We kind of want to keep our people close-ish to the chalice. It's just tough. And have Sarah stay right here. I think with a charge, she might be able to hit this guy. Hell yeah. It's something. We can refill our flask of the chalice. I didn't even realize that was a thing. But I'm gonna have Petronia stay by the chalice. And have Celine move forward. Let's see if Celine can't throw that knockback. So close, yet so far. Tough. Because of that same deal, I'll have Celine stay back here too. And again, the primary target is going to be the chalice itself, not our heroes. They will still attack us, but they are going to prioritize moving closer, and it's going to get overwhelming really fast. Let's 
The Twitchers are going to be real tough, though, because they're going to teleport our people away. Don't want that. That's for damn sure. Fingers crossed we can crit this guy. Nice. I'm actually gonna have Sarah come up here and try and get this one since he's a little bit weaker. Nice. Gregor is probably going to be the one, but we can have Celine do it. It's a really good shot. We have Celine do it, actually. And then it's hard to tell really which lapse is closest, but I think it's this one. Hopefully, a critical. We're close. Yeah, the lapses in particular, they don't even seem concerned at all. The cradles are, the twitchers are, the lapses are just running. And I forget how long we gotta hold this for, it's really just however long the chalice needs and they'll keep us updated. It's really just us holding the line. I hate that we keep getting just teleported out. So I'm going to try and get that Twitcher for sure. And then we're just going to finish this lapse off with Sherry. Nice. Okay. Celine could throw a knockback, but it's only going to hit one of them. So I'm more tempted to have Celine do a hack and slash. And similarly, Gregor could shoot at any laps, but this is the one that we've been whittling. So I want to keep doing that. Hopefully that doesn't knock. Ah, oh, fuck. It knocks Celine to the chalice, so she's done next turn. That sucks. Got to pay more attention to that. Because of that, I'm going to have Sarah run all the way up here and just try and help. But I do think that I want this Twitcher gone. So Petra Nia is going to focus on that. So we can't ignore them just for the lapses. Miss. Nice. Miss. Yeah, one of them had to hit at some point. Miss. Oh, oh my god, down to one. And stunned. That's going to be tough. We got two units stunned and one unit at one health. The Sarah is going to move back, and I'm going to have her use her Ultra Elixir because, I mean, we got to. But we gotta protect this chalice. We gotta have units attacking. Have Gregor come forward. 
I can try and get this Twitcher, I can try and get this Cradle, but I think the Twitcher is a safer bet. I want him gone. I don't I, I don't want him causing any more trouble. And Sherry has a couple options. But I'm going to have Sherry try and hit this lapse here. Oh shit, there's a rock right there. Please don't stun us. Okay, cool. Miss. Damn it. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. This is terrifying. Damn, Sherry, just like that. Every hero who died over the years has had their ashes placed within us, binding us together. Since our power is nearly at its peak, we now have the strength to call upon the strongest bloodlines. Now, let's show this ancestor what they've been missing. So yeah, when we use a like when we lose a unit, we get one of that relics previous holders, whichever one was the one to hold it last, basically. And, um, some of our guys were pretty good. Like, fucking Claire. This is tough to figure out what to do exactly, but Sarah will focus on this lapse. Nice. I get way too excited about this. If we run out of pool for our Vanguard, it's... I mean, it's game over. If we take too much damage with the chalice, it's game over, so... There's a lot of risk coming at all of this. I'm actually gonna move Claire out of here. She can hit this cradle, so we're gonna go for that. We know Claire is good at that shit. Progress. Main reason for doing that, Celine's gonna throw a flask. We're gonna have her move a little bit closer. I'm worried about her health for sure. But we gotta protect this chalice too. See if Gregor. Again, that flask, unfortunately, it doesn't go for both, but we'll have Gregor try and get one of those wrinklers. I think we'll have Petronia do the other one. Laps is going for the chalice, which I don't feel great about. Got to keep an eye on that for sure. But we've dispatched a lot of the enemies, so I'm feeling pretty okay until more show up, of course, and then I'm gonna feel way fucking worse. Yeah, they're starting. They're starting to head in. Uh, those are who I didn't want to see. So we got, this is Celine's opportunity to heal. So we're going to take it. No one's stunned right now, so I think we can afford that. And I have Petronia try to take this lapse out. Damn it. With that, I'm gonna have Claire run up here and focus on this Twitcher. Just having somebody on the offense. That frees up Gregor to do a flask shot on the cradle. Then I'm gonna have Sarah attempt to knock this lapse out. Nice. Okay, progress. Miss. Nice. Miss. Miss for me. Nice. Ooh, got a wrinkle trying to sneak up on that chalice there. 
Oh shit, okay. Yeah, they're coming in hot. I mean, we're keeping them at bay. Damn it. We dispatched a, a, the vast majority of the first wave before the second wave started to run in. But the second wave is definitely running in now. Miss. Damn. Claire's getting beat up. Now, the, the risk with the ancestors is that we still really want to keep our, our most recent people alive as long as possible. Because you'll remember, like, yeah, our guys are good. The last couple decades of them. But you go too far back and you start getting some lower level units. I think Claire is pretty much one of the strongest ones we ever had, so kind of what we can base some things off of if that makes if that makes sense okay we got some choices to make here Clara got half a mind to have her heal but she also could do some solid damage there's a twitcher down here there's still a twitcher up here too though Gregor unfortunately got switched all the way over here Gregor can actually see this twitcher we could hit all those seeds with Gregor too, though. But it might not kill him. And the Twitchers are pretty fucking bad. So I'm gonna elect to get this one. We'll keep an eye out on Claire. We got some wrinklers to deal with over here. I'm gonna have Sarah try and work on him, most likely. Prechenia might need to heal. And we've got Selene, who could do a knockback or could try and hack and slash. The knockback will actually get rid of all these seeds. We're gonna do that. I mean, the Twitchers are bad, but just the sheer amount of units that seeds kind of bring up, especially if they're rushing that chalice, that's not something that we want to deal with. In electing to keep our people together, I'm thinking of maybe having Sarah come over here instead. But I don't know. Yeah, 43 to 51 is pretty nice. And that would give our guys time to heal up. I think we kind of need to do that. It's letting the enemy get a little bit closer. But I think it's necessary. I'll have Petronia move. Or maybe stay, actually. I'll have Sarah run up either way and she'll come right here. Nice. And it's tough with Petronia, because I want her to heal, but I want to take out this Twitcher. But I am going to have her heal. She's too weak without it. miss somehow can't really miss hitting the chalice yeah that's that's fair yeah now the chalice is taking a lot of damage though like a lot so we're gonna have to pay attention 14 though oh yikes nice point blank miss I'm about it. They missed that chalice for me. Come on. Fuck. Wow, they do an insane amount of damage. Oh, Celine, you did good. No. Neglecting our people like that? Oh shit. Oh, it's getting worse. Alright, Sarah, take out that goddamn Twitcher. We got Alenia back. I'd like to see that. 
We'll have Elenia hack it slash this guy over here. Come on, hit him good. That's the opposite of good. Petronia, give us a better one. No, the just as bad. Come on, fuck. It's gonna come in on Claire a little bit. Finish him off. You gotta be kidding me. That's incredibly frustrating. We've essentially just been useless. Will Gregor at least take a lapse out? It stunned our Wrinkler. I think it stunned Petronia too, but at least it stunned our Wrinkler that we couldn't fucking kill. Those lapses really do a lot of damage on those chalices. Chalice is almost at half. Yeah, at this point I think we've held out long enough with our heroes, we gotta we're not gonna heal him anymore. We're probably gonna start running through because we gotta, we gotta use every possible outlet to just defend the chalice. Oh god, this is terrifying. Alright, Claire. Get him. You gotta be kidding me! Okay, switching it up. Lapses. Wow, we're just hitting glancing blows all over the place. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I don't want to get this close and die or lose. Everything is a glancing blow today. What the hell? It's not, that's not good. Yes. Something. Fucking terrifying. Miss. Okay. I'm not trying to rush you, Chalice, but I need you to I need you to speed up. I need you to speed up. Like now. Miss Hey, they can actually miss the chalice. That's cool. Miss. Damn. Well, he held on for a long time. There's still a battle yet to be won. Damn it, these fucking wrinklers. There's so many of them. There's just so many of them. Miss. I can't remember if it's a situation where they tell us they're charged up or if it's a situation where we gotta kill every cadence that's coming. I'm pretty sure it's the former. I'm pretty sure it's like they are charged up and then we're good to go. It's just going to be a question of when that's going to happen. Alright, Claire. 
progress ish. Twitchers are a big problem. These wrinklers that have just been hounding this chalice are just as bad. The lapses too though. I feel like that'll hit the chalice. I don't want to risk that. Damn it. We're gonna try again for a hack and slash. At least we're whittling them down, but shit, man. I definitely want to just aggro them so they stop hitting the chalice, they start hitting me. Stop hitting the chalice! No, almost worthy of admiration. Start hitting me instead! I'm not talking too much, it's just because we're so close, but we're so far. And the wrinklers in particular are just wreaking havoc on this chalice. Got it, Claire, you can do it. Oh, no. I'm just hoping at the beginning of any turn they're like, it's charged. We've done it. Right? Fuck. Oh, Sionin. Hey. That's some shit right there. They keep coming. I don't know. I don't know, Buckos. This might be curtains. Really shitty, unfortunate curtains. Get one of them. Thank you. Sionin's got that free throw. It's a precision flask, too. It's a precision flask, fuck yeah. Zyria, I don't even remember, but you can do some amazing damage. Get that wrinkler. 97% and you miss. That hurts me more than most things hurt me. Well, I need that wrinkler gone. So I'm moving Sionin over here. Ienia could just focus on who's down here. Sarah can try and maybe distract these lapses. See what's best. A hundred right there. Fuck it. I'm taking that. Yes. Calm down. You're gonna keep us over. Still got one wrinkler hard on and on for our chalice, but I'm fucking getting there. Or at least making it look maybe manageable. It's hard to tell. Miss. Damn. Claire, I hope you survive, but if you don't, you've done an amazing job. God stop! Hitting the chalice, come on! I just, I was, we're so close. We're so close. We're so close. Oh, no. 
We're so close. No. No, stop! <laughs> Leave it alone. Hit the heroes. Drain the bloodline. Don't don't pay attention to the big cup. If you're charged up, Chalice, uh anytime. Anytime. Anytime would be great. Well, don't tell me that, man. <sighs> okay. We definitely knock these two. No, dude. Oh my god. This is tough. 48, 43. We're starting to lose them. We're starting to lose our good people. Sionan got fucking stunned somehow. Zyria, 97. I need you to hit him. Let's get this fucking guy. He's way too close. <sighs> I don't know. Our chalice is really weak. Those wrinklers stayed there for far too long. doesn't mean that your efforts weren't just or that nothing of worth came from them. The only way you could have lost was by not fighting. And no one can say you're guilty of that. Don't think of this as an end. Nothing is forever. Well, thanks for watching season two. For anybody who made it this far, I'm sorry. I did what I could. We did really well. We got to year 300. We just didn't, didn't hang on. And dumbass me is playing on Iron Man mode. So it's for real. Well, if somehow you've reached this point and you've watched it and you've like, yeah, you know what? I want to see Austin struggle through this one more time. I'll do it. Probably not for a while, but I'll do it. So, you know, let me know. <sighs> we almost had it. I really felt it. I really felt it there. We were really close. I don't know how many more turns away we were, but... Man, it was close. <sighs>